This is AACPS Digest with Monika Monk. Hello and welcome to the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Digest, bringing you news about the people and programs of Anne Arundel County Public Schools. South River High School teacher Josh Carroll was recently named the 2017-2018 Maryland Teacher of the Year by the Maryland State Department of Education. I knew the other finalists and all 24 representatives from their respective jurisdictions are outstanding teachers and even more importantly, they were really good people and I really enjoyed getting to know them and learning from them and taking some of their knowledge and bringing it into my classroom and when my name was announced I kind of sat there and froze for a moment because it was just that moment of shock. The announcement by State Superintendent of Schools Dr. Karen Salmon culminated a brilliant six-month run for Carol who was named Anne Arundel County Public Schools Teacher of the Year in April and a finalist for the State Award in September. To have the opportunity to represent not just Anne Arundel County Public Schools but the entire state of Maryland I'm grateful, uh, excited, a little bit overwhelmed but that's a good feeling. It feels special. Carroll has spent 18 years in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, all at the high school level. He is now a nominee for the National Teacher of the Year Award. The students in the county's junior ROTC programs had an unforgettable and unique experience as they witnessed the hoisting of the flag of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. In spite of all the things that have sought to divide us in this country, and that still divide us today. We are brought together by the tremendous respect that we hold and the incredible debt that we owe to all of those who have worn the flag of our nation on their arm and who are willing uh, to lay down their lives to protect the rights and the freedoms that we all hold so dear. Junior cadets from AACPS were inspired to meet many of the medal recipients. It's always an honor to meet Medal of Honor recipients. Uh, we love coming down to these places and hear the speeches and meet all these famous folks. For me, as a kid, you know, a lot of people had like Captain America and Superman as heroes, but like these guys, Medal of Honor recipients and just all servicemen were like my superheroes as a kid. So it is just like the biggest honor for me to come down here and see these guys and support them. The raising of the flag is in anticipation of the society's annual convention to be held in Annapolis in September 2018. The school system continues to thrive in large part because of the generosity of community partners. And Baltimore Gas and Electric is the latest example of how much our community cares about our students. Through the donation of special technology, more students who cannot physically attend school now have the ability to still participate in school activities. I thought it was really exciting to give the opportunity to a student that can't be in the building um, attend class. It's pretty, pretty amazing experience. Thank you to all my supporters, my family, my friends. It's been a long journey, but we're here today and I want to say thank you. And I know I can make it all the way and get a new kidney. And y'all took a lot of stress off of me because I was stre stressing a lot over my schoolwork when I was in the hospital. But this relieved a lot of stress. Last year I was an AB student and when I found out I got sick, I was worried mainly about my grades dropping because I wasn't in school or doing the work or the test. And so they helped me so I can control the robot and be in class so I can bring those grades back up. The technology allows the student's face to be seen on a tablet screen that is attached to a robotic stand with a wheel which is remotely controlled. I think that the technology helps fill the gap that exists between a lot of students that are on traditional home teaching um, and the students have fully embraced it. Uh, you know, it's, you know, they don't treat her as a robot but just another student and um, I'm really happy to see that, you know, each day. We can always provide schoolwork through home and hospital teaching and we could send work home through their counselors and we can monitor the work but what they miss is they miss time with their friends and they miss time being around a building and that that we provide that access for them uh, through these partnerships which is really cool. The other thing is is the students around them it really begins to teach them about empathy because they see the student who is in many times suffering and they're not in school and they remain and they have that connection creates some empathy and and that's really important for our students. 
Students who use the robot are not only able to take part in instruction, but enjoy an entire school day with their peers. Um, these are kids that, that are feeling isolated, um, they're, they're feeling alone in some cases, and, and what we're able to do through technology is provide them with connection. It's, it's really what the, the age of communication has, has enabled us to do, is take kids that would normally be isolated with a one-on-one -on -one teacher and put them back in the classroom. And it, it just it puts a smile on my face every time because it puts a smile on the kid's face. They get on, they log on, and the first thing they do when they use this technology is they smile because they can see the world again. Before I was on the robot, I was just thrown into instruction and with not much help. And with the robot, I was in the classroom. It's a lot easier to understand instruction when there's more people. He's always been a good student, but it kind of elevated even his mood. Um, I think for being so many months with just seeing me um, <laughs> and you know his home hospital teacher, it was nice to be able to branch out. And I think that changed his optimism on even getting back into education and being able to do his work. At BGE, we are all about innovation. We're constantly pushing for different ways to deliver reliable gas and electric service, but even more so, we're giving back to the community. So this was a perfect fit in how innovation really ties into education. It couldn't have been a better fit. And to see the, the real impact that we're helping a student attend classes and stay in the classroom while undergoing such serious medical, medical concerns is just inspiring. A few other students around the county have been able to benefit from this groundbreaking concept and resource. The students and staff of Monarch Academy Annapolis Public Contract School had much to celebrate during the ribbon-cutting celebration of their newly renovated and modernized facility operated by the Children's Guild. As I look around and I think about transformation of this building, I can't help and think about the transformation upcoming for our students because of the love and dedication and caring of this staff and this wonderful principal, I know that you, our students, and our families and community are in for a transformation. The ribbon-cutting ceremony was attended by a host of elected and school officials in honor of the second contract school in the county and another academic option for students in Annapolis. One of our goals is to offer choice to students, whether that's choice within a building or choice for outside programs. And so Monarch Annapolis um, just broadens that choice range, especially for the children in the Annapolis area. They now have the choice of an IB program um, and an, another opportunity. So we're thrilled to add this to our slate of options for all of our students. The school brings together many students from throughout Annapolis in an exciting atmosphere where learning is still at the forefront. I think most importantly is I want the kids to be proud of the school that they attend um, and I really hope that the work that we do here really brings that creative spirit out in the children and really connect the music and the reading and the writing with art and you know everything that they can do and their talents come through. As this new school we wanted to see how it would, how it is it and if it's academically challenging and if it would be a good school and so far I have had no complaints. I think it is a great school and I think that they are definitely on the right path. It's good, but it's a little challenger than uh, my old school. So yeah, I'll get to learn more and um, be, um, overcome new challenges. My favorite thing about Monarch is probably the teachers. They're really nice. And I just wish I could be here a little longer. The school serves about 580 students in kindergarten through fifth grade. A crowd of Glen Burnie High School supporters recently gathered to pay tribute to a community member who, for decades, has made a positive impact on many students, educators, volunteers, and residents. Your time, your commitment, your love, and your caring on behalf of this community, this school, and these students have really made quite a difference. And so as you and Debbie leave us and go on to bigger and better things, know that you are not to be forgotten and know that your impact on this community, on this school and our students, 
is forever. And so we thank you, and we are delighted that the community is here to say thank you also. For those that think they don't make, you don't make a difference out there, you make a huge difference. You, you not only affect those children that you deal with on a daily basis, but those, those children are going to go out there and they're going to affect thousands of people. Mike, I present the Mike Fennessy Innovation Space, recognizing excellence in the community-based community, based leadership and volunteerism. From now on, this space will be remembered after all the dedication and hard work that you have put in through the years. And I've probably received hundreds of awards in my life, and from my heart, I can tell you, this is number one. So I want to thank you all for today. In a surprise ceremony, local businessman and volunteer Mike Fennessy watched the unveiling of a wing in the school in his name dedicated to innovation and excellence in community-based leadership and volunteerism. It means everything to me. I've spent 30 years in this school. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's a wonder I can talk right now. No, this, this means the world to me. Fennessy will soon be leaving the area for retirement. Thank you for watching AACPS Digest on AACPS-TV.